Ooh, they have surveyor. Scary. Alright. Move the infiltrators just along this side. Right up there. Alright, clearing some more mines. Yeah, this is an annoying one. But yeah, can see this reaches here, and any scout trying to come in would get shot. Even if it was right here, because that's just on the range, but I can't cut that off. But more importantly, I want to cut this off, if I can. It's not always possible, but it's something you can go for if you need, if you want to. Let's just keep moving. I haven't had too much. Re I think they're still trying to come up this way with these units because they kind of all have them clumped here. But right here is where I'd want to hit. It would take 12 attack. Four hits from f a sc four scout shots to do it, and this would come off this production right here. They do have, they can't upgrade their units. They do have gold refineries and research centers of their own, but in my playthrough, it did not have the most impact when they did do it. So there's two artillery guns down. <sighs> Just enough. Alright. So that's also going to make sure your attack is high enough, not only to destroy these, you're now only doing four damage each shot. Because this is 24. That's 16, so this only takes, yeah, 24. So I'd only take four shots instead of eight. But that is good. Now we can start. See, this is why I recommend two wide, so you can kind of get these guys over on this side in there quicker. Or you can just even punch them through here and start going up that way. I'm going to start funneling all of them through here. I am going to say, say another important warning here. Is that they do have... Uh, like I mentioned, extra turrets. But specifically, they're right around here. And here. And that little cluster I hovered over with the mouse. So make sure you be careful of those spots. Most of these tanks are actually pretty healthy right now, which is good. Move them back. Let's get you up in the front. Okay, they are coming for me now. I'll see he's been out of some crawlers. Repair unit's been destroyed, that's why I'm making more. I think I actually told them to target the concrete blocks they have been firing after everything. Okay, so the lines are cleared there. So how about right here? No? Alright, so. 
to move into position here and Alright, and then you wanna move these guys just back a little bit while they take pot shots at the assault gun. Yeah, because there's that. Yeah, there's one right over there, I think, so. gonna kind of move them all in here. Yeah, see, this is why it's hard to disconnect, because there's so many gun turrets right here. Because <laughs> this one, would you need at least five scouts right here to do it. This one would take quite a bit, because they have two of them right here. And you still have the turrets over here to deal with, so. So there's a couple of assault guns dealt with. So yeah, scouts are very good against assault guns, which I think is nice. Because the assault guns don't have armor, really, so you're not worrying about much. Drive right on up. Yep, see, so I got shot from artillery, but that did not turn. So that's why there's other ones you have to deal with. Hey, I'll move that out of the way because I'm not going to be able to kill the artillery gun this turn. So let's keep. Moving on forward. Because you can break these radars and destroying the radars would help a little bit, but they have extra to let you guys know. So destroying the radars is not like a, you know, a super victory because they have enough in the base so they can constantly see you. And you need to focus on making sure their military is gone. Yeah, scan's a little hard to deal with sometimes. <laughs> Alright, let's move you right here. See if they'll start shooting at that. There we go. And if you can move up, the rocket launchers can help, too. So let's move up here, just kind of go like this. Nice and slow enough. So the tanks are being moved up. Parry unit's gone. Because the bulldozer mostly is just used to clean up raw material so you can resupply everything. So I think once you get that out of the way, I would... Ah, the rocket launcher, I think, killed my infiltrator again. And just repeat with five. Actually, if I have the bulldozer, I don't even need to worry about raw material here. Alright, I'm wondering if the reaction fest is done there. <laughs> That's basically all that was, was just... Units reacting to each other constantly. Alright, let's... <sighs> well, there go all my infiltrators. This is kind of like the mission where I think I posted salt required where they're not that useful. At least in this specific scenario. send one of you to deal with it. <laughs> I 
And I'll break this to get it out of the way. So once I destroy this and that, I'm gonna go through left. Because not only do you need to take care of all this, but it's generally what I found to be a slightly safer way to do it. At this point, if something gets in my way, I'm just gonna break it. <laughs> Yep, there's the artillery. The missile launcher extra ones are back here. So... Do that. Oh, they already fired. Okay, so... Actually, that gives me an idea. I will cut off that heavy vehicle plant, but... Not, okay, actually I can't cut that one off specifically. Okay, so there's more artillery guns. <laughs> I'm triggering all the turrets over here. But I am going to start taking shots at these guys. That way I can... Use them to distract the tanks, but also still deal damage to their infrastructure. So I'll force them to expend all their ammo on the scouts. So the scouts do become cannon fodder later. Yeah, not the end of the world if you don't. Um. Yeah. So. All right. Let's. Ammo is doing okay. Let's just go in here anyway and refill everybody. Yeah, ammo really doesn't always update. Like kids do immediately. Oh good, they're starting to shoot at this, even though I don't need it for anything. to the turret, that's great. I mean, I'm gonna lose a couple just going in here, but... Yeah, see, it has 20 attack, so if I left it at the default, it would die in one shot. So I can actually go back here and just start... Um, kind of picking on all of them. This will run anyway, because I'm just close. But I can start doing this. do I have? Nothing really. So. <laughs> there. Okay, so the tanks have got it. One last break through here of the wall. There we go.
Oh, they built a gold refinery for some reason. Okay. I could just cut that off and it'd be not connected, but I don't know. Because that's 20 attack. That's only 16, so... I kill what can hurt me more. I want to do collateral damage, but I gotta try to bunch them all up here because I don't want to get shot more by the artillery. Which seems to be already happening. So at one point, I mean, I don't have to repair units, so it's kind of unfortunate because I did put them too quick close to um, the front line. I try not to keep them too close, but at the same time, you need them close enough to repair, so it's like a, kind of a really hard choice to make sometimes of how close you make it, and, you know, you don't want to mess it up and everything, so. Let's clear the site and the center pair units up. So that's why also, if you do push up, another way I've edited it, which I've messed up, so I missed it a little bit here, is that Instead of more center, try, like I said, one side, try to see if you can kind of isolate it to this section rather than this section of it. So right where 88 and 87, 0, 87 are, try targeting these ones instead of these ones. Even if you do want to do this strategy, which I did, to try to make sure I kill everything here, which is the main threat to, you know, kind of you pushing forward. So, um... So to say about that. Target the one in the back here. Alright, gonna take the shot. Yep, there they are. The ecospheres. And all the other turrets. There's one over there. So. Yeah. I still have 20 turns to go. So once I do this, the last 20 turns will be just mostly smacking the enter button to go and turn. I probably could cut that out of the video. Probably. But. If I just set it to one turn, it'll just go through and I can... If I, need, if I have any more ideas I can think of for uh, Max in the future, I can say them. Well, let's just get rid of all of these here, so... I actually can focus one guy toward the radar just to be safe. But this can still see me. So I have to take out pretty much both. Okay, I know buildings have a scan. Excuse me? What is this? Yes, question mark. Please tell me what's going on. So the cost is still there. The power of the gold is still there. But where's the armor, the hits, the scan? It's not even showing up. What is this game with stuff being damaged that it messes up all the values? 
I mean, that's the only thing I could think of that would relate to it would be when I shot it with the scout that it might not be um, functioning properly. Alright, I'm just going to push everything up here at this point. No point in me really holding back too much. The closer I can get to them, the better. Just try to... Because this doesn't have scans, so does it even see this? Alright, I will break this though. And... Up to... Up to... Scanners, go over here. Yeah, because they have, they have more radars in here, so... Usually breaking a radar doesn't do too much here. But I do have a supply truck. Still. Um... Alright, so six cargo. Just clean up. They did a good job of clearing all the mines, though. So... Generally with the clearing mines, just shoot at a turret or a concrete block near a turret and you'll usually clear the mine, or just... Usually the mines will start right here. And that's where you want to start trying to aim, kind of. Alright, I don't know why that one just do it like that, but... Oh, that will die, I guess? Alright, um... Oh, that doesn't have any power, that's great. Alright, so I want to avoid this. Mostly just that. I don't want to move up to that one right there, so... Yeah, that's a nice little bug right there. What if I destroy it? Does it break the game? <laughs> Speaking of that, let's actually just save it. save name. Alright. Yeah, so that's why I mentioned you can try to go for the connectors with the scouts and just throw most of them there so you can try to disable them from producing any more units. But usually as long as you destroy this and pretty much that, you're good to go. So let's... One, two... I still have the rocket launchers. Get over here so you can resupply at least. <laughs> Actually, that gives me an idea. Just in case they don't have as much raw supply, I can cut this off right here. So something like that and just shoot one right there. So in case they do have anything stored in there, it won't matter. Ooh, they've had to turn one off. That's good. Alright, so let's... Start moving up slowly and toward the ecospheres. I am running low on tanks, so this is where you can kind of start sacrificing more utility units a little more, a tiny bit more recklessly. Is 
uh, just using them to uh, effectively act as cannon fodder. Because you need enough to break these two. Even if you kind of have to shrug off turret damage. <laughs> or even just throw your scanners to the fire. Speaking of which... I've got three of them, so... Actually, wait. Correction, I had three of them. I lost one. And I know where they are at this point, so I'll leave that one back there. Surprisingly still alive. Alright, there's nothing I can do about that artillery at this point, so... Let's destroy that at least so I have something out of the way. Alright, I want to at least clear those turrets enough before I start really, uh... You know, going off on them. I'm surprised I still have these at all. May as well leave them in the back here. Not, not not too much in the back, but just enough to where they can still help. Yep, just hug the wall and then deliver supplies. <laughs> so at this point, I'm pretty much in range. As long as I can just clear that gun turret up there, and I'll assume those launchers, I'm fine. So just do something like that, I guess. Oop, not uh, too far. And then just do stuff like this. And then, kind of once you're in this position, you're pretty much good to go. I mean, you won't lose all your tanks, but you know, pretty much your whole military, but he's technically still did it. I know of an infiltrator, so I could have saved an infiltrator, just disabled the constructor, and then, you know, start making light vehicle plane, a heavy vehicle plane, and, you know, just expand this into a giant end base, but it only have 40 turns to do it. So, there we go. Turn 23, let's print screen that actually. And there's both of them destroyed. <laughs> and now I've got a big advantage. So at this point I can kind of do what I want. For 17 turns. And prepare everybody. Let's actually destroy that. Just try to, you know, get it out of the way. And then, if I want to, you know, we could just go around and break everything. So let's actually build up some supplies here and just get more bulldozers. Because the bulldozer will just get all the supplies I need. Because when I finished this scenario last time, I kind of had one tank as like a survivor. And yeah. So, next mission will be st stuck in the middle, mission 6. That is a long mission because it is 50 turns. So it's kind of like a multi... That'll be a multi-part video, definitely. Because, you know, unless you guys want to see a three hour video, which I mean, I've uploaded hour and a half videos before, but, um, yeah. 
So just saying that would be a long video like I did for Planes of Hell. I did Planes of Hell because I had to go at one point and I just recorded the last part later. But for more of the longer missions, I will need to do that um, process. still raining on me. Alright. Building's been halted. Still has scan now. This is still buggy. So now there should be nothing that can see me. Unless there's another radar in here somewhere. I think it's over there. Yeah. So that'd be my next goal. You know, take out that radar. And then I can get away pretty much scot free. Oh, yeah, I need a supply truck. It still worked, but yeah. Alright, so now I'm actually kind of more safe and secure than I was last time. So, yeah. Um, I may actually upload two today, because I've been kind of behind on videos from a personal standpoint, so. I might do. S I'm not sure the other game I want to try to upload today. I'll upload this one. And then. I got to reply to a couple more comments I've seen around recently, so. And then, thinking Cyberstorm 2, or even Command and Conquer, you know, Yuri's Revenge or some stuff like that. Ooh, I can reach this and just keep bombarding it. But my real thing right now is I want to get rid of these connectors. So let's actually... Alright, stop firing on that. And then... If I can just disconnect that... That would be great. Okay, good. As long as I can just shoot right there, that'll work. Because I talked about Cyberstorm 2 a lot when I recorded the first game. Alright, 6 out of 14. 5 out of 14. Alright, so let's... Oh, no more fuel going in. Ooh. I think that did it. I don't think this has enough fuel to keep going, because I cut that off and now this is all off. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. 30 out of 30? Supplied. Yeah, because all I pretty much have is gun turrets now. Which means I can pretty much run around with the tanks. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, 
let's see here, what else can I hit? Because that's not even on. That has a lot of different noise, so it was like a ping sound. Alright, so I think that cuts off most of their supplies from their base, because everything's off. Effectively. Just nice. I just gotta worry about gun turrets. Alright, supply truck is coming. And just have the bowls and clean all this up. I'm actually gonna build this twice as fast because. Oh, I only got nine turns left to build twice as fast. Hopefully, you didn't move so close. It doesn't even have a health bar. <laughs> it's, oh no, a constructor. Anyway, built an ecosphere. I mean, that might work if they build five. Otherwise, it won't really work all that well. I don't need a supply truck to be here. And then just keep building supply trucks. Could probably build two more, I think. I mean, I could build like four or six. Which will leave it here. So twenty out of thirty. I can't even target it. Cause it just goes from waiting to attacking. Okay. It's a little messed up. position over here, see if I can break, because I think they might have another heavy vehicle plant over there, or they just hit a constructor, because I'm out of ammo for most of my things. Where's this? Alright, I want to try to shoot this, I hit it with area of effect damage. Okay, so it doesn't even register. It's there? It blocks physical space but it's untargetable got a feeling someone's probably abused that bug in multiplayer if they ever got IPX connections to work for what I remember IPX wasn't too successful and you pretty much have to use like GOG.com game or like special shortcuts and you know third other like third party type programs to uh play multiplayer on this game. Because I've been trying to get the GOG.com thing to work and I'm looking at a couple other solutions like Tungle and whatnot. Um yeah so what happens if I just Alright so that gets damaged. But nothing else. Let's see I'm just gonna build all these supply trucks and Actually, even just send one over here, and or send that one up. Oh yeah, I've only got one shot, and I can't even kill it. So yeah, I mean, I'll be able to kill it, but oh, it's gonna run away to where I can't get hurt. And let's build a scout in two turns before I have to go back to one.
And I'll just end it here. So. Um, I guess if you guys have any feedback or whatnot. I'll just watch the re-recording enough to see if it went smoothly. Because I did, like, I did the testing earlier. Should go pretty f all right. Um. So that yeah, should be in the mission. I've got more than enough. They tried turning on the research center, which didn't work. Probably should put my name right here, actually. So yeah, stuck in the middle. So this one's 50, 50 equals. It says 50 wins. Which I think is kind of funny. But I'm pretty sure it's just 50 points. So that would take probably quite a while. Because this one's also 80. The ones with the turns are usually quicker to do. Like ones where you have to hit points. It takes a little bit. So... Yeah, so if you guys have, as always, if you guys have any feedback, please let me know through comments or messages. Um, if you have a suggestion for any other games I'd like to play, including the ones I didn't mention until the later part of this video, you can let me know. And otherwise, this has been Holden or I is a Weird, and I will see you guys next time.